What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best Destiny 2 in-game settings for low-end PCs. Open up your settings and here, navigate to the Gameplay tab and enable the FPS display option in order to enable the FPS counter on the top right of your screen. This will help you determine which changes help you out the most. Next, in the Video tab, make sure to set the Window Mode to Full Screen and your resolution to your native monitor resolution. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Below, you can lock your frame rate with your monitor's refresh rate. In case you can hold your FPS cap of 60 or 144, then make sure to set it to your monitor's refresh rate. But in case you experience lag and dropped frames while in game, then I suggest to disable VSync. Below, you should cap your FPS to a value your system can consistently hold, preferably above your monitor's refresh rate. In my case, I would set it to around 180. Your FOV can slightly reduce your performance in case your GPU is bottlenecking your system, but I still like to splurge on performance for a wider field of view as I'm using a wider native resolution. In your advanced video settings, set the graphics quality preset to low. This will in turn lower most of the advanced video settings. If you have some performance to spare, then you can increase the texture quality. I suggest to lower the shadow quality to lowest and to turn off depth of field. Motion blur will not impact your performance, but I still prefer to disable this option. In your additional video settings, you can reduce the render resolution in case the game is not playable on your system. This will in any case improve your performance but the visual quality will suffer a lot. I suggest to set this option to around 90% and to play a game to see how well it runs on your system in case you regularly experience lag and FPS drops. Disable HDR and chromatic aberration and film grain in case you're like me and prefer less visual effects, which should in turn also increase your performance by a bit. In case you still need more performance, then I suggest following my FPS boost guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.